received a 911 call about a shooting that happened here in the parking lot behind me on McKinley and Fowler. What we have learned, and again, this is all very early in the investigation, is that two cars were shot at. Four people were shot in total as a result of this. Three of them were transported to hospitals and one was pronounced deceased here on the scene. So we are working to- YouTube family, unfortunately Julio Fulio has lost his life. So I'm gonna give you guys the news footage alone, separate from the videos we did. That way people can listen to the video entirely cause I only gave 30 second clips of it. So before we get started, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, Thank you for rocking out with the I Smoke Hip Hop Live platform. this morning we received a 911 call about a shooting that happened here in the parking lot behind me on McKinley and Fowler. What we have learned, and again this is all very early in the investigation, is that two cars were shot at. Four people were shot in total as a result of this. Three of them were transported to hospitals and one was pronounced deceased here on the scene. So we are working to learn what led up to the shooting, motive. You can see behind me, a lot of officers are here. They are talking with witnesses. They are looking for video as it pertains to the shooting. Uh, as far as the people that are at local hospitals, we are working to get an update on their condition. It seems like they will survive their injuries, but again, that's very early in the investigation. Uh, those are really the details that I have at this point as we're unfolding and getting updates. I'll take a couple of questions for what I can't say. Judy, were these guests at the hotel, do you know, that were staying here with some kind of beef or rivalry? Is that at this point, it's part of the investigation, but it seems that they might've been coming here to the hotel to get a room. And can you say anything about um, the, the, the guests that were staying in the hotel? Did they have to be evacuated or they were like, were they told to stay in place after, after the incident this morning? Part of the investigation, I don't think so because of what time it happened. At this point, you know, guests are waking up and we're updating them and we are assisting them with anything that they need assistance with at this time. But it didn't happen inside the hotel. It was uh, in the parking lot. And so do you know how many suspects there were? How many people had guns? Part of the investigation, we're hoping to be able to figure that part out as well as get a description of the suspect so that we can get that information out to you. But I can tell you that there are cameras here and our officers are working to view all of the cameras and talk with people, you know, who might've seen anything or heard anything. And I think that's the biggest thing at this point. You know, we always say it, but in cases like this, it really does make the difference. If you saw something, if you heard something, any little detail can help us figure. You know, at this point, around 4.40 this morning, we received a 911. 40 this morning, we received a 911 call about a shooting that happened here in the parking lot behind me. Now, with Fulio's situation, if you guys don't know, the situation happened outside the parking lot, like she said, and there was a lot of hell of gunfires, man. You can see it here on this picture here. Um, they blitz it, ladies and gentlemen, is what I'm basically saying. And they made sure it was to eliminate. And what I want to know is where was Fulio sitting at? If he was the driver, case in point, with all them shots being there, it tells me maybe he wasn't the driver. Maybe he was somewhere in the vehicle where they didn't have a clear shot. But I doubted the people inside the vehicles were the ones who gave the information. Fulio is the one who did. He literally posted his whereabouts everywhere. I don't know what was cool about that what would make him do it but he seems to be someone who given up and gave up but we're not going to get into that we'll do a separate video ladies and gentlemen i'm dj blessed one the best one please smash that like button and hit that notification bell my hearts and thoughts and prayers with the friends and family of julio fulio ladies and gentlemen prayers up to everybody that's blessed let's go <laughs> I'm